I challenged myself to make a video game in 24 hours. Here's what happened. If you're new, make sure to subscribe because we're growing fast and I don't want you to miss out on any awesome videos. It is 11 a.m. and it is the start of my 24 hours. I know there are a lot of game editors out there, but I'm using Playdate Pulp because it is free and browser-based. That means you don't have to install any additional software to use it, and that is why I'm going to be using it today. My game plan going into this is to have one big room where the character spawns, probably in the middle, and then I'm going to have a couple of rooms on the outside. I'll leave some gaps to indicate the exits and entrances of each room, and I found it difficult to do on its own, so I turned on grid view, and I'm going to be placing these tiles more accurately, lining them up just so that they fit. As you can see, that's a perfect match. Again, leaving a gap in the middle to work as our door system. This is going to be our way in and way out of our level. And I will just continue doing this all around the room. Fast forward a couple of hours and I've decided to do some design elements to our level. I decided to go with a spooky kind of haunted mansion. For the sake of time, here's me just laying down the floor. As you can see, I put some bookshelves in, some broken tile and a little bit of old carpet in front of the doors. This did take me quite a while, so I am glad that it's finally coming into shape. It's looking good. And I'm trying to figure out the type of design that I want for my tile. So I finally settled on a tile design. And at the end of the day, this room does look very awesome. We're gonna zoom in here a little bit, just so you can see everything and how it all came together at the end of our first day but I do still have a lot of work to get done before this challenge is over. I'm gonna go to sleep and hopefully wake up refreshed so that we can finish the challenge and get this game done. I woke up at 9 a.m. and I wanted to get started right away, so I began to work on the very first room or the very first level of our game. I've decided that in our level, the main character is missing something and it is your job as the player to go and find it. This is a basic helmet, and it is the player's job to go and find it in complete darkness. So how we did this is basically you are seeing floor tile and you are seeing wall tile. But I am making a fake floor tile that will act as our darkness. So you will be able to walk through it, but you can't see any tile in front or behind you. And basically, I'm using the fill tool to fill that in. Next, we took our wall tile and we are putting it on the edges of our room and extending it a little bit to make it look almost like a bridge. Then I took my carpet tile and noticed it looked like a wave, so I added it to the edges to give this room a little more depth. Moving into the second room, I did want to point out that Playdate Pulp is made so that anybody can make a game. So the different levels that I make today are going to be fairly simple because I am not using any third-party software or anything like that, but I still want to make a cool game. So what I'm going to do for this level is each box is going to be a portal, and depending on which direction you go in that box, it will spit you out in a different box at random. I made the third level, but wanted to keep it a surprise until we played through it. So without further ado, let's play our game. So this is the game that I made in 24 hours, and as you can see, it does look pretty nice for only having limited time. As you can see here, I made the helmet blink, but if you wanted to add challenge, you don't have to do that. You could also probably add in some monsters to chase you around in the dark. That would be pretty fun. I wish I could do that, but I didn't have enough time. So let's leave this first level, and we are going to move on to the second level. The portals in the second level actually turned out pretty well. As you can see, they're marked by that special tile. And if I walk into one, it will teleport me somewhere random in this room. Now this could have a lot of potential for Easter eggs for different rooms or for different collectibles or things like that. But we are going to move on to the third and final room. It does look very empty. It is blank. It could have been a bonus room, but I wanted to make it the last and final level. It's a test of luck. If you don't get the right one, you will die. And it is random every time the player spawns in. As you can see, we won the game and we got 20 points. 
for only having 24 hours to make this game, I would consider that a success. Let me know in the comments below if you would try this for yourself, this challenge, and how you think you would do on it. Make sure to subscribe because I upload weekly. My name is Gavin, this is Playdate Central, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.